fit like two birds in a house. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and happy Valentine's week. CGH3 and I are here gonna teach you our last heart hairstyle that we are calling Rope Twisted Heart. Now somebody else you know is also in the Valentine spirit. Ta-da! Say hi, Brady. Look, we gave him red puppy ears and red puppy paws this week for Valentine's Day. And yes, it's safe and the groomer did it. No worries, it's just for fun. But let's get going, shall we? Yes. So to begin this hairstyle, you're gonna to wanna to part your hair right smack dab in the middle. Tip your head back, please. I'm gonna just part it all the way down. Do that again so you get a nice part line. Okay, and when you have this all nicely parted, then I'm gonna go ahead and wet her hair down because I like doing this hairstyle just slightly damp. I'm just gonna spray, this is water, just using to dampen her hair. You can do it dry if you'd like, but I just like it. I think it's a little bit easier to style. It's a little bit wet. Okay. And then you're gonna use this part line to do your heart. So you're gonna wanna start with, you know, the point and go up and around and create kind of a heart shape on her head. And you can use the end of the rat tail comb or the comb end, whichever one is easiest for you. We're gonna just create that heart shape. And when you like what you have, then go ahead and repeat it on the opposite side. Into my ear and overwhelms petty fears. So I went ahead and did the right side of the heart, and when I got that all finished, then I did the mirror image on the left side, and I'm just gonna secure the whole heart right down here. Whoop, elastic breakage, right down here at the point of the heart, like that, and we are ready to go. So you have the heart. Okay, now we still have this middle part up here, and what we're gonna do is create rope twists that encircle the heart to kind of accent it. So I'm gonna start on this right side, and again, I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of water, because it's starting to dry a little bit. And make sure her hair is nice and kind of combed out. And before I start, I'm just gonna split this right in half, and roughly her hair in half again, just so we kind of maintain that half and half. There we go. Okay, go back up to the top, pick up this hair just right here at the very tippy. And the whole idea is to kind of pull the hair away from the heart because we really want the heart to stand out from the rest of the hair. You don't want that hiding the heart. Now, a rope twist is different from a regular twist only in that you twist the pieces themselves so I'm gonna take this piece and twist it to which my right. I'm gonna take this piece and twist it also to my right. So they're both twisted to the right. Now I'm gonna take them and twist them over themselves to the left. And the first like two little twists are the hardest after that, it's really easy. So I'm gonna add in hair, right here, and I'm gonna give it a little twist. And then I'm gonna go and add hair to this back section. So you've added hair to both pieces, and again, give it a little right hand twist, and then twist it over themselves to the left. And like I said, the first two sections are the trickiest. After that, the hair kind of keeps itself twisted and it becomes much easier. So we've got added hair again, add in hair, and then just before you twist it over itself, give it a nice little right hand twist and to the left. And you're gonna work your way just kind of along the hairline, like this. You can see that's just super twisting that up really nice and tight. Adding a little more hair in the back. Give it a nice twist. 
Add in hair. Add in hair. Give them nice, both little right hand twist. Cross them over each other. Okay, when I get down here, like I said, I'm just gonna split this ponytail in half as well, and it becomes another strand to go into the twist. So on this last one, I'm gonna use that as a strand and just go ahead and twist it right in. And then I'm just gonna continue twisting to the right and working my way down. This is just a rope twist all the way down. When you do this twist to the right and then twist it together to the left, it tightens the twist so that when you let go of it, it doesn't unravel like a normal twist would. So we're gonna just work our way all the way down as far as we can. And then I'll add an elastic in the end and you can see how it won't unravel on itself. So take an elastic. And watch when I let go, it stays put, where normally a twist would be like <sighs> unravel. So we're gonna go ahead and do the other side exactly the same and then we'll come back to this part of the hair. I'll visit every Wednesday Our imaginary hay Boy, what I'll see you soon Miles scare all the me and you Okay, when you get to this point, you can take the twist and go ahead and add an elastic here and let them hang down. Or you can let them loose and make it a ponytail with like a ribbon or a bow. I'm going to take the twist and just twist them together like we were before, just twisty, twisty, twisty. So it looks like one big giant twist. And then I'm gonna just take it up and kind of make like a fancy bun right here on the back of her head. Tuck those ugly ends underneath and then go ahead and use some spinny, spin pins or bobby pins to secure the bun in place. Tuck these ends under. Get those twisted. And then just use bobby pins to reinforce them if you need them. And You have this really pretty looking updo that's from a heart. It's kind of fun. There you go. Ta-da. And we are finished. Okay, let's do the final spin. You can see the cute heart right there and the nice bun. Now be sure to check out our Valentine's playlist for lots of other Valentine hairdos and leave a comment below telling us which one is your favorite and give us the thumbs up and have a happy Valentine's Day, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. We'll see you soon. Oh, you're ferocious. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You're scary. Big scary dog. I <laughs> know. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.